Hi, this is Sunday E from MotorWalk.com and we're looking at the LG Optimus G. This is LG's flagship Android smartphone on the market. It's supposed to have a 4.7 inch uh, QHD IPS display uh, with the in-touch cell technology in there. It's a very vibrant shop display, very smooth. Now this is powered, this is the first smartphone in the US. It's powered by the Snapdragon S Pro processor. What that means is a quad core processor with LTE in it. So basically this is an LTE phone with a quad core processor, not a dual core. Portable. It's got two gigs of RAM um, on this here, so it's super fast, and it's got a 13 megapixel camera in the rear. We've also got a front-facing camera, uh, HD front-facing camera for uh, video chat. Now, there are a lot of features in here uh, with the Optimus G, which we'll go through later in, in this video. But you can see you've got a uh, row of applications in the bottom. You can add up to six apps in here, I believe, you can see. So you can add more applications here in the bottom. Now if we go to the camera itself, take a quick look at the camera here, you can see the camera application, um, you know, basically what you saw uh, with the uh, Optimus uh, 4, uh, LG, uh, Optimus 4X, I mean, uh, you can see the camera here, 13 megapixels. Uh, overall, this is a very nice device. This feels like the uh, the Prada chocolate, very simple, although it looks like it's, it's a nice solid square piece. It feels very comfortable in the hands. Um, I will say it's, it's got nice chrome um, trimming. Size-wise, um, it's, you know, it's not super thin, but it's also not, you know, super thick. It's a nice thin device. So below you can see the bone toggle here. Of course, that's of course for your um, SIM slot there in the back. You can see there is no way to open the device because this is actually fastened all the way through. It does not have an SD card port, but it does come with 30 speed bytes of storage. You have your micro USB here at the bottom, your speakers, and of course your power button. Overall, very clean design. This is your capacity to touch buttons, and I really like what LG's done. Here. Let me show you a quick memo Q slide. Q slide basically allows me to take a video, oops, not, my, not that app, open up a video, play that video, and you can see this is our functions, that's our speed ratio, um, that's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, that's our smart share, lock the video, and that's our cue slide. And as you can see, I'm at the home screen, the video is running on top of the middle of the screen here, and I can make, I can manipulate the transparency of that video and multitask in real time. Can you move the video around or just place it on the top? Well, what you can do is, Open up, let's say I want to go to a browser and look at IMDb and then look at, let's say, uh, I want to go to like The Rock. Or let's do this, let's do Dwayne Johnson. So I'll go to Dwayne Johnson, there he is. I can go to his page because he's in this movie, look up some data on him, put it in landscape, and then you get a full screen view of the video with the web page in the background running. So I can manipulate, like I said, that transparency so I can look at what I'm looking at, then go back to the video, make it a little bit uh, brighter so you can watch the video. Okay. Pretty neat little feature for stuff like this again, letting you multitask and do two things at once, which is a really, really good feature. That's a, a Q-Slide feature on this phone. Now there's another way you can take advantage of Q-Slide. You ever get a voicemail and you try to write down and fumble for that phone number real quick? So on our phone, let's say you have a Bluetooth in your headset or your speakerphone on, and you get that voicemail, turn on a quick memo, write down your number, right, on screen. Now, hit the Q slide button at the upper left, instead of saving the quick memo, now it's on screen, while I'm still manipulating it. So I can go to my phone and dial, you know, the phone number. With the memo still on screen. So again, just giving you an opportunity, like we said, to live without boundaries and really use your phone in ways that you haven't been able to use it before. Now, a lot of the features you guys saw on some of the phones in uh, New Orleans or at CTIA are still here. I know I covered the, uh, you know, the custom icons. And you can see here, I set the icon to the uh, keyboard on a laptop computer for Messenger. One thing that is also different is I can uh, change the size of an application. So you can see here, I manipulated the size, and now I made it back to the original size of the app. So if I want to make it look like a widget, hold it down, long press, tap again, tap the plus sign, makes it larger, go back home, and now you yeah, oh, basically almost turn your application into a pseudo widget on the home screen. It's pretty neat. On the bottom, 
train. We can add any app, up to six apps down here, if you want. That's just part of our UX. But to take it a step further, you're able to take those apps and, for example, even create folders on the bottom, thus keeping many more apps in the bottom tray with folders and all. So those are just some of the enhancements we've made with the Optimus G. Cool. On top of everything you saw during the presentation. Thanks. Thanks.